Hey, would you like to be able to make custom ringtones for your iPhone? There's nothing extra to buy, no specialized software. Everything you need is right there and available on your iPhone. And that video is going to start right now. Where'd my iPhone go? Ah! Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I do videos about how to. Videos that hopefully solve a problem or help you learn something new. That might be photography, it might be video, or it could be how to solve something that's frustrating or cool with technology. I've been trying to make a custom ringtone for my iPhone for months. It took a little figuring, but I finally ironed it all out and I wanted to share that with you so that you don't have to go through the same hassle. I'm gonna start by walking you through how to make a custom ringtone tone using your phone's microphone. The steps are super simple and once you understand this part I'll show you how you can use music that you've purchased from iTunes or audio files that you've created or downloaded as two other sources for ringtones for your phone. Hey and just for my friends out there I'm wearing shorts today no pants. Thank you very much Mike and Rosalia. Okay enough about that let's jump on the phone and get started. First thing I want you to do is to pull down and search for GarageBand. If you don't have GarageBand loaded on your iPhone, just go to the App Store. It's free. You can download it. You'll be ready to go. You should see a screen like this. Mine has a couple extra things on this, but generally what we're going to do is we are going to go to the top where there's a little plus right next to GarageBand for iOS. Press that plus and you should see your microphone audio recorder come up. If you don't, you can just scroll you know, left or right until you actually get to it. Now go ahead and press on the audio recorder portion of that. Don't press on the more sounds part. Go ahead and touch on the three little lines that are broken lines up in the top left hand corner okay we don't want your metronome on because you don't want that tick 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 in your ringtone so let's press the blue triangle there and turn that off the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to record a sound so press record hey Sean answer the phone it's the phone you ding dong look around it's somewhere it's probably in your pocket press stop by the way you can play around with these and make it sound however you want Let's go ahead and press play. Hey, Sean, answer the phone. It's the phone, you ding dong. Okay, I'm cool with that. So let's go ahead and we're going to press those three little lines in the top left-hand corner again to bring back the track menu. Now what we need to do is go ahead and just save this by pressing the upside-down triangle in the top left-hand corner and click on My Songs. Give it a chance to process a little bit and you'll notice that My Song comes up. The quick and fast way to do this is to make sure you're on the browse. Don't, don't go on recents, but make sure you're on browse. And you can press and hold to bring up a menu. Go to share, but if you want, you can also select and highlight the song and click on the share icon in the bottom left hand corner. Click on the share icon and long behold, what do you think comes up? A ringtone song project. We're going to click on ringtone. Here's where you can rename your ringtone if you want. And then we are going to click on export in the top right hand corner. If you press OK right now, it will just store this as part of your ringtones in your notification sound setting area. Or you can go ahead and say use this sound as, and this is where you can assign it as a standard ringtone, a text tone, or you can assign it to a contact. I'm also going to have a video about how you can do each of these things individually if you don't want to do it right now. Because once you create this, you lose this option at this point and you have to go through some different settings to get to them. I'm going to go ahead and click done. Okay, that's how you do it if you want to use the microphone. Now, I would say go out in the environment and use your microphone, create some fun little ringtones. The microphone works really well if you're trying to create some custom stuff. The next thing I want to show you is how you can create a ringtone using music that you've purchased. Now, you have to actually purchase this music through iTunes Store or this doesn't work. It'll be grayed out and protected. So, let's go ahead and get back into GarageBand. Let's go and hit on the the plus icon that's in the top right next to GarageBand for iOS. We're going to press in the audio recorder area and then we're going to press on the three little lines to get rid of this customized area and bring us out to our track menu. Again we have to turn off our metronome. We don't want that showing up in our or we don't want to hear that in our ringtone. 
The next thing that we have to do here is we have to change the amount of time. We're going to press this really, really tiny plus symbol over at the end of the track. And with my fat fingers, it takes a little while. But eventually what you'll get is song sections. We're going to make section A at least 12 bars. And you can press and hold this and drag up and it will go much, much faster. Like I can press and hold and take it up to whatever I want. If you want your whole song to come in, then you're gonna need to raise this up 100, 120 maybe, however long your song is. So 112, let's say, because I want the whole song to come in. And now I'm just gonna back out of that. Okay, we need to go find a song now. So let's go ahead and click on the loop icon that's right next to the settings and the undo. I have a song that I purchased through iTunes store called Suavemente. If you just press on the song, it will play. Okay, what you need to do is go ahead and press and hold and then drag it over to your songs. I'm gonna call it a timeline and you'll see my whole song came in. The next thing you wanna do is use your fingers to expand or make smaller the song so that you can figure out where you want the actual song to start. Press the song, drag from the corner and you'll see that I'm editing now, cutting off that edge. Okay. I'm going to start it right there and I'm going to end it right there. You may want to take your length out to say 12. That would be a good length for a ringtone. Okay, everything is good. I've got it at the beginning of the track. I've got it edited to where I want it to start. Go ahead and hit that upside down triangle again. Click on my songs. You'll notice that it needs a little bit of time to process what you've done. Then once it's processed what you've done, you can go ahead and press and hold, or you can select. I'm gonna use the press and hold this time, and I'm gonna select ringtone. This time I'm gonna call it, uh, you know, suave, or that's not how you spell it. Something like that. Anyway, misspelled, I'm sure, and export. And again, I get that selection if I wanna just dump it into my ringtone uh, list or if I want to go ahead and use the sound right now as my standard ringtone, or standard text tone, or assign it to a contact. And that's that. That's how my ringtones can be done through iTunes purchases. Now, one more, which I think is kind of cool. Let's say that I have brought in a file from an internet website. I use Epidemic Sound, so I want to use maybe something that I've downloaded there. I have a lot of sound effects and a lot of music. By the way, they're a great company to go check out. I'm not sponsored by them, so this is not a sponsored video, but that's the music that I use for my YouTube channels. But I also want to create a ringtone from something that I got from there. So let's go ahead and we hit the plus button again right near up at the top. We're going to hit the audio recorder. I'm going to hit the three lines, then I'm going to hit the metronome, and then I'm going to go ahead and press the loop icon. That's in the top right hand corner. And this time I'm going to look for files. If for some reason you can't find the file that you downloaded, go ahead and browse and then do a search and you'll find it then. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, but I realized that the length that they've chosen for my new um, track, which is only eight, is not gonna be long enough. So I don't want it to be cut off. I'm gonna hit the plus in the top corner here, set that to about 100, I'll trim it down later. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here just by clicking off. Now I'm gonna go back to my loops, my files, and there's my song that I wanna use. Press and hold, okay, and now I've got the song in here. I can go ahead and edit my length however I want. Use my fingers to expand, zoom in, zoom out, and we're gonna bring that down to maybe 12. So I've got it edited the way I want. I've got the song length now. I wanna take that out to about 12. Okay, I like that, it sounds good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that uh, upside down triangle. I don't know what it's called, an inverted triangle maybe. Go to my songs. It's gonna process a little bit. Hopefully you're starting to recognize that the way you make ringtones is actually the same each time. You're just gonna pull from different sources. So now I've got my, my song ready to go. I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to click on share, ringtone. I do want to rename this. Uh, we'll give the artist some props here, Racy. Export. Takes a little bit. It's going to export. I want to use this sound as my standard ringtone. And now it's set as my standard ringtone. Just want to quickly double check that. Let's close out GarageBand. Let's go to my settings. Let's go to sounds, ringtone. And look at that. It's already selected. 
And that is how you can create ringtones and that is how you can set a ringtone to whatever you want on your phone. You can set it to a contact, you can set it as a text, or you can set it as a regular standard ringtone. Hey, well I hope you found this video helpful about how to make ringtones for your iPhone from three different sources, right? So you should be able to have all kinds of creativity with your ringtones now. Check out my other videos, you'll see that there's a lot of helpful how-to videos especially in the world of technology. And if you did find this video helpful, hit that like button. That helps my channel grow. Also the subscribe button. I am trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you would subscribe to my channel, that will help me reach my goal. And I can only say thank you to you. Until I see you on the next video, make lots of ringtones and keep it simple, my friend. Where are the Sonics? They're no longer. That's okay. Sean Kemp still rocks. When your boyfriend, wife, girlfriend, husband, significant other, whatever, you can have a different ringtone. And when your boss calls, Sean, this is Stephanie. You can have a different ringtone.